What is the hyper-independent woman? This is a term that has recently come into the mainstream lexicon and it describes a lot of women in American society today. These are women who don't want to be married, they don't want to have children, they don't want to live a conventional life and they want total independence from men. But there's a dark side to this independence, and it's one that we don't talk about very often. Hyper-independent women are not only single, but they tend to stay single for a long time because they don't want anyone telling them what to do. They want total control over their lives and everything that happens within them. But what happens when women are in complete control of their lives? What happens when they have no one else to blame for any problems that arise? When women are the only ones responsible for their happiness? Is it possible for them to be happy at all? Hyper-independent women are the ones who refuse to settle for anything less than what they want out of life. They're ambitious, driven and incredibly focused on getting what they want. And while this is good thing most of the time, especially good advice if you are a man seeking money and a career and you are on the hunt and conquering, but it can also be very bad when it comes to relationships and advice to give women. Hyper-independent women will not settle for a man who is not on their level of success. They expect their partners to be just as driven and focused as they are. This means that if you aren't earning at least what they make or have a career similar to theirs, then forget it. These women don't want anything to do with you unless you fit into their world. Typical independent woman thinks she has all the answers, self-righteous attitude about everything and appears to others as if she is more important than she really is. Their egos are so big because their lives are devoid of love and support from a mate in a relationship. This is what happens when you grow up without a father figure to discipline your life, to put you in check when you get out of place. What happens when you're a woman without boundaries? You become a person who doesn't have self-respect, because you don't respect yourself. You need to take a good look at yourself and see where your issues stem from. Does this stem from a narcissistic mother, is from growing up without a father figure in your life, then that woman needs to hold herself accountable and make changes today. But she most likely won't. People should not just take my advice to stay away from independent women. Look at the data. I'm only sharing this because I've been through this, and I've decided to share this so that others don't go through the same pain as I have gone through. Yes the independent woman is great but eventually her love for being independent will surpass you, her love for her job, her friends, her career, and if she feels superior to you, she will leave you for another man. I don't like how a lot of women change once they're married. Like instead of a housewife, they want to be a CEO or some type of a title there in corporate America. They want to be independent, and they want a man who will let them do whatever they want to do. They won't compromise with you because they don't feel like it's necessary.